How's it going freelancers? Welcome back to another Anthem video. So today I wanted to talk about the Elysian chess debacle, the whole drama that's going on at the moment in regards to armor. Then I wanted to talk about a video that was sent to me by Spooky Nerd regarding inscriptions and how they are still broken. And this is on the PlayStation 4 platform. So if you are experiencing anything like this on the Xbox One or PC, do let me know in the comment section below. Right, so on with the video. So it seems when Ben Irving came out and talked about the Elysian chests in a live stream, he said that there would be a hundred vanity items, which got everyone excited. There'd be armor, vinyls, decals, emotes, everything we possibly could have wanted in terms of cosmetic vanity gear was in there. There'd also be like embers dropping from them and other stuff, but there'd be around 100 items with a knockout basis for dropping. So as you went in, you got your first item, you left, if you went in with four people, all four people could open the chests, you get four items, and it was done on a knockout beta, so once you've got the one item, you can't get the rest. Well, after the last stream, things started to get a little bit more antsy. People started questioning what's actually coming with the Elysian chests and armor still a part of this. Because it seems they can't even get armor in time for the store because the scar based theme loop for the Colossus isn't even ready. So this is a problem, right? They just can't get the content ready in time. It's like the game came out way too early. They've not got enough content ready and they're basically just pushing it as it goes along and riding it out. And for the most part, it's working. But I think for many, the Elysian chests, which was the first content drop that would actually give people a reason to do the strongholds, a reason to just go in and actually do the content to grind for stuff has now become one of the biggest disappointments in Anthem. As you can see from the image on screen right now with the names having been removed, a user on the Discord channel asked Ben Implied in a tweet today that armor sets would be available in the Elysian caches. This isn't the case, right? Which BioChris responded correct, he is mistaken. So. From that, we can now deem with 100% certainty that armor will not be in the Elysian caches. Now, this is a real big disappointment. I feel let down because we're told one thing and then they deliver on another. Now, I get the whole transparency and, you know, the cost of transparency. Now, this is happening more and more and I'd rather they get their story straight. I'd rather they actually got the facts right before revealing it turning around and telling the community that x y and z is coming and then you deliver a b and c it isn't on and for many people they're starting to feel lied to betrayed and honestly disrespected the community bought the game they're supporting anthem they're sticking by anthem and being lied to probably isn't one of the things bioware want to do right now not with their previous track record and not with the way the game has come out already let's be real here the game came out in probably one of the shoddiest states available. When you look at the state of The Division 2 when it came out, sure it had problems, but nothing at the magnitude that the Anthem is going at. Sure, Anthem's story was 10 times better than anything The Division 2 has had to offer so far. I've been playing it quite a bit recently, just trying to get to level 30 and finish the main campaign. It's taken a while, but the story just isn't interesting. Sure, there's some comical bugs which I'm going to be releasing soon. Hopefully Ubi Massive can actually, you know, fix these, but at this point, accept those as features. But this isn't one of them. You can't turn around to someone and say, I'm going to give you a full-on armor set, and then you turn around and give them an emote. It doesn't work that way. People want to look cool when they're out in the open. They've got a store here that's supposed to fund live service gaming, and no one's spending because there's nothing to buy. I mean, I've not cared for the store for a while i'm collecting coin but collecting coin for what reason i sign in two three times a week when i have time i play the game i enjoy the game i do enjoy the game however the elysian caches were one thing that i personally was looking forward to to grind with my friends to collect all 100 items to get the cool armors that we could use but that's not going to be the case anymore the emotes aren't impressive. The best emote that I've seen so far is the big laugh and that's a rare. That was so cheap it's hilariously funny. I mean it works with the emote right? But you know at this point I think a lot of the community is really upset as you can see from these titles on Reddit and I know Reddit isn't probably the most reliable and best place to go to right now but you can see people are starting to have enough. 
these people aren't leaving on a high they're leaving on a low and if you leave on a low you're pretty much done with the game you've lost that consumer so what Bioware are trying to do here I don't know I would really like to know because I mean at this point they can't continue doing this I think it's a real bummer and I for one am really disappointed I mean you guys know me I'm I'm one of the few extremely positive YouTubers that actually enjoy Anthem and actually give it praise where it's needed. But on this occasion, I can't praise it because it, it it sucks, you know. I was really looking forward to these Elysium caches and to be to be known there's going to be no cosmetic armor in here is, is a, you know, is, is a real disappointment. And I really hope that they can change this and... I guess it's not going to make it in time for this launch, for this Elysian chest, but maybe on future instances they can see that this was a mistake and hopefully actually correct this issue. I hope people will stick around for it by then, but honestly I think this was probably one of the worst moves they can do. So the question I have to ask right now is, what's going on? When you look at the new content coming, it's just rehashed content. The Outlaws just increase the number of Outlaws, same for the Scars, same for the Dominion. That's free events. Then you've got the Titan, which just spawns four Titans on the map. These aren't really events. These are just stuff that populate the world a little bit more of a certain faction. They come and go without people even noticing. You fly around and go, oh look, there's a Titan. I guess the event is on. There's no real notification that even the events are on. You see a bunch of outlaws huddled up in a location having a picnic. You turn around and go, oh look, the Outlaw event must be on because you have no idea or care for it because, well, it doesn't give you anything. It doesn't reward you with anything. It just helps you do your weekly factions that bit faster. So I think Bioware is in a severe identity crisis right now. I don't believe they know what they want to do, where they want to go. I think they've lost a track of vision of where they're going. And honestly, I think they need to just stop, get people in a room and decide what it is they want to do with Anthem because right now they're acting reactively rather than having any form of plan it seems and that reactive acting is damaging the game, the franchise and the IP a hell of a lot more than they would do if they just put the brakes on and just said guys stop, stop everything, let's just sort this shit out, let's decide what we want to do, let's set a focus plan and let's deal with it because at the moment I think that is what's needed, I think Mike and Ben are definitely the guys for this, they can definitely do this. Dara and Warner also are definitely the people to make this happen. So I think between the four of them, this is something definitely that can be done and turned around. But they need to start now in order to turn this around. Because the more they disappoint the community, the more they push away. And if people leave on a negative thought, they don't come back. And that's just the way it is. You know, every game is like this. If you leave on a high, there's a really high chance when fresh content drops, you'll be back. But if you leave on a low, you won't be back. So how you leave a game during content droughts is really important. And I think Bioware need to address this and address this quickly. And I think they need to come out and just basically tell the community, hey, this is where we're at. This is the situation. This is what we're going to do to fix it. This is what our new roadmap is. This is what our new plan is. We're sorry, but this is what we're going to give you. We hope it's acceptable and at that point maybe people will d turn around and say you know what thanks for the information i can see what you're doing i'm with you for the long haul right let me know your thoughts on that because that's pretty much a mouthful that was pretty much a monologue in itself uh, i didn't really want to go all in on it but you know i think this conversation needed to be had so let me know in the comment section below what you think Elysian chests will not have armor. This is now confirmed by BioChris, so this is not going to happen. The second thing I wanted to talk about is this video Spooky Nerd actually sent me. He's given me permission to use it, so thank you very much. So I'm just going to try and spread awareness on this. You can see that he got nine masterworks in a GM free stronghold. Now, that's not surprising, especially with the increased drop rates, right? So nothing here. What is interesting is if you look at the inscriptions that each of them got. And the ones he's cycling through they're identical all four inscriptions are identical for almost all nine if not all nine this is crazy this isn't rng this is broken there's a problem here this is for the ps4 version 
So I'm hoping this can get out more. I'm trying to spread awareness with this. I'm also, I've also retweeted the original video to the relevant people. But if any of you are experiencing the same problem, let me know in the comment section below. If you can share a video, do so, and I will compile it all into one and try and bring it more to the developers' attentions. This is a real issue, and I really hope we can actually get this to the forefront and change it. Legendaries are dropping at least at a decent rate right now, but still, you don't want to see stuff like that. That's just a completely and utterly wasted legendary. And even the masterworks here are completely pointless. They are literally nine embers at this point because they are completely useless. And hopefully Bioware can fix this. So here's me doing my part to bring it out to the open, bring more awareness to it. If you guys can share any videos, any links or stuff like this to similar things that you've seen or are experiencing currently in Anthem, let me know. I'll give you full credit for it. And uh, hopefully we can get the awareness out there enough to get it to the right attention that it needs. Right. So anyway, let me know in the comment section below what you think, how you're feeling about the game, what you think about the Elysium chests, the inscriptions, the any other thing that you have a question for. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Right. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day. And until the next video, remain legend.